Good morning, War Eagles. I'm Preston. And I'm Derek. Today is Friday, November 11th, and this is your War Eagle News. Let's go ahead and start off with our sports team. Hey, War Eagles. It's Peyton here with your sports with, the, with this week and with Coach Whitlow. Hey, sports fans, War Eagles. Uh, Saturday, basketball is going to play Dawson County High School. It's the boys only. Uh, today's competition cheer is down at the state meet in Macon Centerplex to wish them well. And next Tuesday, our wrestling team will be taking on three different teams. We'll have our girls, JV and varsity there. This will be a smackdown to remember. Back to you. Thank you. All right. I don't know where he went, but I guess that's all the sports we have for this week. Yeah, no. Come on, you haven't even given it a proper read. Oh, sorry, I'll read it properly. Yeah, it still sucks. What's the issue? You know what- Hello, War Eagles, and welcome to the wonderful world of Jacob Grimsley. Here at Basement Table Studios, we have just wrapped up a competition short film called Cut Me Some Slack, following the passionate and artistic Jacob Grimsley as he traverses a monotone world. We will be premiering this short film in the Chesity Theater on Thursday, November 17th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets will be $3. I hope to see you there. Please join us today in the CHS Learning Commons for a Veterans Day lunch at 11 a.m. Attention all boys and girls soccer players. There will be a mandatory parent-player meeting in the cafeteria at 6 p.m. next week on Tuesday. So make sure you at least have one parent with you if you're interested in playing. The HOSA Club is hosting a community-wide blood drive today in the upper gym. The blood they collect goes directly back to meet the needs of our Hall County community, so please consider donating. You can find the QR codes to sign up around the school and at Miss Wilson's classroom door. Our Hope Club recently went on a trip to Atlanta. Let's see how it went. So I am here with Sergio and Betsy. We're here with the Clo Hope Club at the uh, National Center for Civil and Human Rights Museum. Uh, what are y'all's thoughts? I think it's a really good experience that we came here. So yeah, especially the, the little dining table. The sit-in experience. Mm -hmm. it was yeah. Like you yeah. Got Did y'all both try that? Yeah, it was like a good experience because you got to see like oh, like a real life example. And like you get to everything. experience, yeah. yeah, like what it actually was like. Yeah, I, I did it and I started to tear up. And, and you can also listen to like the other people talking, like through, even if it wasn't through phone, but you can see, like you can hear them talking about mm -hmm. the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's been a very interesting experience to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Now here's our weather team for next week's forecast. Car weather! Car weather! Car weather! Car weather! Car weather! Yeah! Yeah. Oh, oh crap, a bee's in here. Where? 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 Oh, yeah. Right where? there! Right there! Where? 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 Gosh. You've got issues. Shut up. Shut up. You know what? Okay, start going. Back it up. We're gonna go. Straight. I'm gonna go home. Yep, okay. I forgot my phone. Oh my god. You know, you know what? Let's just let's just do weather. Let's just do it here. Okay, whatever. Let's just freaking do it here. Hey Jesse. So um we had a little bit of you know technical difficulties. So instead of doing a kooky wacky adventure uh, for weather, we're just gonna have to do it here because it's boring. Um I really hate Alec, Alec, Alec! Hey! 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 Get out of my car! No! 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 No, no come back! No! We we got him off! Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Oh my god, yeah, she's still here. <laughs> it was just for the bit, but now he's gone. Um, here's your weather. On Friday, we'll have a high 65 and a low 51, with an 89% chance of rain. On Saturday, we'll have a high 62 and a low of 36, with a 25% chance of rain. And on Sunday, we'll have a high 56 and a low of 32, with a 4% chance of rain. The rest of the week will be mostly cloudy, with a bit of rain near the end of the week. This is stupid. Oh my, hey. Yeah, yeah, I need a ride home. I hate this. <laughs> my car got stolen. It, it's not a joke, I'm serious. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Have a great weekend, and uh, go or Eagles. Halloween is over, and you know what that means, right? Cheap candy! Speaking of candy, let's see what some of our students' favorite candies are. Hi, I'm Miss Liz. I'm freezing out here. But, we're gonna ask these people what their top three favorite candies are. I'm here with uh, Kevin. And what are your top three favorite candies, Kevin? Uh, Reese's, Kit Kats, and uh, Twix. Uh, that's fine. Appreciate you, Twin. I'm here with... Miss Alvarez. And... What are your top three favorite candies, Miss Ibris? I love Reese's, Sweet Arm um, Ropes, and then Kit Kats. That's cool, that's cool. Thank you, Miss Ibris. I'm here with Cindy. How are you? And what's your top three favorite candies? Um, Sour Patches. Um, what was that called? Airheads. And Skittles. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Cherry. Okay, and what's your top three favorite candy? Uh, Go with sneakers, Twix, and Hershey's. Great. <laughs> my name is Riley Tucker. Uh, my name is Elijah Pruitt. Um, hi, my name is Brenna Williams. Who's giving the best advice? And what did they say? Uh, probably uh, my family or my brother Chris. I don't know, he's giving me a, a lot of a different advice on different things. I can't, uh, I don't know what they were. I don't know, I can't answer that question. I don't know. I'd say my, I'll just say my brother Chris, yeah. Um, Coach Austin last year, he told us to kind of just get everything done with in a way, but like, have fun with the time you have, because last year felt like yesterday, but just live in the moment. What do you remember the most? Um, I'm gonna say the student section, junior year and this year. Uh, spending time with friends and football. Uh, and spending time with teachers like Miss Cash, Coach Jones, uh, they impacted me a lot. Um, man, it's 
probably be cheesy, and everybody knows that this is going to be my answer, but theater. Um, I, d I did theater all throughout middle school, and I didn't really tell anybody because I was embarrassed. I was like, man, I play sports. What are they going to think when I tell them I do theater? Um, but in high school, I kind of got over that, and I just started to really focus on theater because it's what I love and it's what I have a passion. And man, it's, it's turned out really well for me, and I think it's what I want to do with my life, so yeah. What do you have to say to the upcoming seniors? Uh, take advantage of the time you have here at Chesity and the friends you make here. Uh, leave an impact on the younger people coming up in the high school. It goes by fast. It goes by fast. I know we're only like, what, two and a half months into school, but it just feels like it's still the first week of school. Yeah, it's gonna go by fast. It feels like everything is coming at you at once, like college and like AP exams and all like the pressure of just being a senior. So I would say go slow, you know, really cherish every moment because it comes fast and it hits you like a train. So, yeah. Who's the most impactful teacher you had? Uh, wait, what did you say? The most impactful teacher you had. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Cash or Coach Jones? Uh, they just put a lot of extra effort into me as a student uh, and uh, helped me a lot to overcome some things in my life. Um, who's the most impactful teacher you had? Mr. Parsons. And why is that? Um, well, I had him two years in a row. <laughs> um, but he was kind of just a realist. Everything was just straight up with him. And he kind of set us up for like life this year and like what it's going to be like outside of high school. So. That is a very easy answer. That is Sir Jeffrey Kelly. Um, I have, he has taught me all four years of high school. And not only has he been a teacher that I've had all four years of high school, but he's also been a good mentor. And, um, Without him, I would not be where I am today. You know, he really sparked, like I was already interested in theater, but he really sparked my passion in theater. And he's the reason that I want to do theater outside of high school. Um, if I want to, you know, pursue theater education, he's the main reason. Um, he's taught me so many things, whether it's in acting or uh, set construction or just life in general. Good life, life things to think about why you go beyond high school. So, yeah. Um, hi Jeff, how you doing? Um, thank you. You, uh, you have been the one person throughout high school that's always been there for me. You've seen me at my highest points. You've seen me at my lowest points. And you've also just, I wouldn't be here without you. So for that, I'm very, very grateful to have you in my life. Love you, man. Well, everyone, that's all the news we have for today. Stay safe, have a happy Friday, and go, go War Eagles! Eagles.